title, Tiger Woods takes a seat on PGA's big table. But wait. Saudi deal. TL, DR, in a whirlwind of golf politics, Tiger Woods scores a position on the PGA Tour board, amplifying player voices during heated Saudi partnership talks. Clubs and cash. What's the real game here? 27 years on the greens and now the boardroom, Tiger Woods joins the PGA Tour policy board. His move not only supports Commissioner Jay Monaghan during intricate dance steps with Saudi live golf backers, but also throws a spotlight on the player's role in the big business of golf. Interestingly, Woods is the sixth player director on the board. Just last year, there were only four players there. So what's changing? It's all about giving the golfers a louder voice when it comes to huge deals. Gotta wonder though. Are we seeing the dawn of the Tiger era in golf governance? The context. Well, the PGA to a secretive chat with the head honcho of Saudi Arabia's National Wealth Fund which, surprise surprise, unveiled a proposed partnership back in June. Many players felt like they were teeing off in the dark, unaware of this backroom game. Tiger, roaring louder than ever, expressed, this is a critical point for the tour, and the players will do their best to ensure that any operational changes benefit everyone. Thanks to Mr. Woods and his compatriots, no major decisions will be made without the player directors swinging their influence. Talk about club power. While Tiger had been vocal against Live Golf, he's historically been the power hitter in private discussions with the top brass of the PGA. Now, by taking a public stance, he's endorsing a greater unity and collaboration amongst the players. Now, all eyes turn to the ticking clock, the definitive agreement between the PGA, the Public Investment Fund, and the European tour must be set by December 31st. No pressure, right? Among those supporting the changes are big hitters like Rory McIlroy, Patrick Cantley, John Rahm, and Jordan Spieth. They, along with Woods, represent a crucial player base that seems ready to take the PGA's future into their own hands. However, Justin Thomas reflects the broader sentiment, a lot of us were taken aback by how things unfolded last year. We want to say because it's our tour. Is the PGA's old guard up for this challenge, or will they be left in the bunker? So, dear readers, as we stand on the 18th hole of this story, one must wonder, with players like Tiger Woods now at the helm, will golf's future be more about the game or the game? And importantly, who's really calling the shots in this high-stakes match? Swing us your thoughts.